What's going on everyone? My name's Dave West. I hope we're all well. So welcome back to another video test and this time is for the Pixel 3a in low light. Now I've already done a daylight video test and that will be shown up on the card on screen right now. But I wanted to see what the baby Pixel 3a was like in low light for video. Now as with all ultimate video tests I'll leave all of the main camera specifications down in the description and I'll just run through some of the headline features of the camera throughout the video to help save you some time. We're starting with the front facing camera then and this is an 8 megapixel fixed focus camera. It has built in electronic image stabilization and it can record video at up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now as with most phones with electronic image stabilization in low light, uh, with the dark lighting like this you are going to see uh, some slight fuzziness with the video as the stabilization works in the background so it's not going to be ideal. However, I just wanted to show what this phone is like in real life testing in low light if this is what you're going to be using it for. So you can see the hotel behind us, the phone is blowing out the highlights on the lighting just underneath the building there. So let's just check out the stability then with a quick run. Right, so this is the main rear camera then and this is a 12.2 megapixel autofocus camera it also has dual phase detection autofocus and this has optical image stabilization as well as electronic image stabilization which gives you effectively hybrid image stabilization and both the front and rear cameras record in stereo sound now what I've got a bit of light in around me We'll just check out autofocus in the dark and just like in daylight it's really quick actually it gets a good lock on the subject and goes quickly back to the background scenery now one thing to be mindful of is the electronic image stabilization does suffer from those fuzziness you get around edges Electronic image stabilization generally works better when there's lots of ambient light available. So, as it gets dark, the stabilization does start to struggle a little. But that is not exclusive to the Pixel 3a, that happens on pretty much every phone that I've tried that has electronic image stabilization. So what you can do is you can switch the stabilization off. I'm just going to show you quickly what happens when I start to run and you'll see the effects of the electronic stabilization and the fuzziness I've just been talking about. And hopefully you'll be able to see that demonstrated in that short sequence there. All right, so this is with the electronic stabilization switched off and we're just running with optical image stabilization now. So it will be a little bit shakier. However, I would trade the super smooth stabilization with its fuzziness for some slightly shakier footsteps and slightly better video in this kind of use case scenario. So you can use the zoom in low light. So it's three times digital zoom. So you can see as we go to the extremes there, it does lose some detail and clarity. But should you need to use it, the option is always there and you can also adjust for exposure. So you can make it darker or lighter as you wish. You let me know what you think of the video in low light. So we'll just show you the stabilization just using the optical stabilizer. So again, that is gonna be a little shakier than normal. But I wanted to demonstrate what the stabilization is like in a real world scenario. You can see out in the distance there we are. Kind of getting some fuzziness around the trees 
because it loses detail in the dark. But around areas where there's lots of good ambient lighting, you can get a pretty decent image. Okay, so that's the end of my quick look at the Pixel 3a in low light. It's a slightly more diluted ultimate video test. There's a huge array of shooting options that are ideal in low light. So for example, 60 frames per second is not really recommended for low light video because basically double the frames equals half the exposure. However, you let me know what you think of the video from the Pixel 3a in low light down in the comments. And if you've got any questions, I will get back to you as soon as possible. But for now, this has been my shorter ultimate video test for the Pixel 3a in low light. My name's Dave West. And I'll catch you guys later.